Yeah, I'm a four now. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I have choices. How? Wait. Wait. How? How bad are we? We're healthy. If I eat two more people. I th no, two. We should be fine. If I eat two more people. Mm. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. You weren't who I was looking for. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Yes, you can. Dr. Ackroyd's right there. Nothing happened. You didn't see anything. We're just having a conversation about stuff that you're not interested in. I do feel bad about this. I mean, he's experiment. He's doing, he's doing some stuff that is not in the best interest. I'm really, we're doing this back here. This is where we're doing this. I'm sorry. No. I could have been a great surgeon. The greatest. Oh, I got two keys? Hey, there's a... There's... No, I don't I feel bad about this too. However. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? He's fine. And my hand went right through her hat. It's fine. Your mom and I are going for a walk. I'm alright. Yeah, I know. I feel bad about this one too. I don't really like what I'm doing here. Oh, come on. We're just we're just making it easier for Jadana. Just we're just making it easy for him. That's all we're doing. Got to help someone out while we're piling up bodies. Before my son. I die before my son. No. He needs me so much. So much. I think he'll. Well. All right. Question that I must answer for myself. I've been debating about eating Peppa or Milton because. The, the appeal is, if you eat Milton, um, Pippa will quit and join the Guard of Prewin. And it kind of gives her some purpose, since she was saying she might quit anyway. But I, I don't know. There's also an appeal in letting them live and seeing that, you know, London wasn't destroyed and things are better and then go off and be together. So... I think I'm going to leave them alone. We'll see if I change my mind. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I I just killed two more people. Swansea. Uh, you might not want to talk to me. I killed one of our staff and one of our patients? No, she wasn't a patient. She was just a relative. Hello, Jonathan. How are things on the West End front? Complicated, my friend. The rich and powerful feel threatened by the disease and have asked me to put an end to it. Yes, 
It is odd how resolving a crisis suddenly increases in urgency when it affects those who matter. <laughs> Do you know about Aloysius Dawson? Do you know Aloysius Dawson, Alois the famous tycoon, Lille. is well versed in vampire and occult knowledge? No, I did not. But that is no surprise. For half a century, it has been quite the trend for English nobility to join secret societies and occult circles. He's just a rich merchant. But Aloysius Dawson is only a rich merchant. Yes, richer than Croesus. Wealth is more respected than title these days, even in England. Did he contact the Brotherhood? Did he contact the Brotherhood of St. Paul? Try to join your group? It would not surprise me, but I am certain he's never been a member. Hmm. Spreading of the epidemic. It looks like the epidemic is spreading to the western districts of London. I am trying to locate the source of the infection. It won't be an easy task, my friend. This disease is highly contagious. What about epidemiology? Do you not think epidemiology could be <laughs> helpful in this matter? To retrace the origin of infection through time and topology. If anyone can perform such a miracle, it will be you, Dr. Reed. What do you do all day, Swansea? The staff say you never come out of the office. You go hunt vamp? I don't know. I don't know. What do you do? Since this epidemic is evidently linked to the vampire curse, we must find the original carrier to understand where it comes from. I admire your logic, Jonathan, but be careful. Rationality, when it comes to your kind, is not always a reliable lens. <laughs> Intel about Ascalon Club? Does the Brotherhood of St. Paul know anything about the Ascalon Club? Well, I'm afraid that's unlikely. Ascalon is a sensitive topic, and whatever material the Brotherhood has, I may not have access to. Who could answer me then? Usher Tooltree, our current primate, may be the only one able to answer you. He's a discreet man who lives in the West End. All right, well, maybe I'll find him. Thank you for your time, Edgar. Oh, look at that sweet experience. Oh, should I rest? Oh, good Lord. Oh, I don't know if this is, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should. People are healthy. I'll find the effect on the district. I healed two people who were sick. Oh, you're, oh, good Lord. Okay, I need to cure you before I... Okay. Alright, that's important to do before I sleep. I don't have your notes. You. Find violence of Volkoids. Is that something... Okay, so we're, we will find this later. I just wanted to make sure. I gotta find her friend. Okay. Um, I wanted to check. I have all your hints and I have all your hints. Okay. So we should go, I'm going to run to the docks. Stella and Rufus have fatigue? And you two, you, you, you two have shared diseases. All right. All right. And then sleep, maybe? That might be good to do. I'll, I'll cut out and come back. Am I going the right way? Okay, good. This is not a place for you, sir. Yeah, I know. Done. the shit out of me. We yes, you can. No, don't you use your staff on me. I, I want to know... Shit. 
There we go. I want to know the rate of people that John the let me re let me rephrase this the rate of the Garda Prewin that Jonathan has killed versus the rate of members that they have recruited. Shit, there's more of you. Shit! Damn it! Damn it, woman! I'm I'm very interested in how Prewin has managed to keep up their numbers with Jonathan just destroying them all. Perhaps we should listen to what the idiot had to say first. Still can't eat Edwina, she's a five. So few clients. But with the epidemic, no one dares go. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Helping you out. Do you need any help? <coughs> Can't be good for business to see the bartender cough in your beer. <laughs> Indeed. It would be a shame to taint the delicate taste. <laughs> thank you, Doctor Reed. My customers and I, we all thank you. I uh, killed your two customers, so... Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Delaney's gone. So clients. Seymour is gone. Go outside. You're still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. Do you require medical assistance, Miss Cavendish? Don't feel so good if you have to know. I knew that keeping the bar open with the epidemic wasn't a good idea. Take this. It'll help. Perhaps you should think about closing the turquoise turtle for a while. Tom always said we've got to keep the doors open. <clears throat> but thank you, Doctor. Oh, she's even sniffly. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. I think I've healed. I I don't think I've gotten that dialogue before, so I will keep it in. But I do believe we've healed both of these guys, so I'll just cut it out. Does grow eyes in the back of that head, so gentlemen are easy targets in these parts. I do like that her greeting has changed since Seymour is gone, because it used to be, um. It used to be, don't, don't stay here, please don't stay long, my son doesn't like strangers. So now that he's gone, where is this? Now that he's gone, her thing has changed, which is nice. I actually wasn't able to heal her because I was out of medicine. So I'm going to take care of that and then I will come back. All right, let's check. Everybody's better now. So I'm gonna go. Favorite meal. Now, how should I know that? Oh. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> Let me. All right, let's sleep. Oh, let's break stuff down. I may cut this out. Still got two of those, haven't used them. Yes, I was not expecting that, but yes, please. Uh, oh, I need a good hacksaw. Shit, did I sell one of those? Oh, I can just skip that. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Ugh, I'm not 
using guns. I didn't break anything down. Here we are again. I am loving this. This is excellent. This is great. It'll take 4,000. Ooh, 6,000. Um, I think we didn't upgrade this one last time because it was going to take a lot. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. It'll recover faster for me. You're up by two. And you're up by one. So should I just go ahead and do it? You know what? I am going to upgrade this. I feel like I use that a ton. Um, body condition. That'll be... How much is it to, yeah, okay. We've got 4,500 left. Hmm. That increases blood absorption. We didn't do this stuff last time. Thousand. There would be another thousand. Twenty-five thousand. You're five and you're five. Not doing that. Hmm. I think I should spend it on one of these. That's not enough, unfortunately. I upgraded that. That's not gonna be enough to do that. Well, I might not be able to upgrade. I can get you. Let's do it. There we go. We're done. Confirm. Ugh. Uh, why am I stuck on... Okay, <laughs> it was like, you're still critical. You have a cold. You have a cold. All right, two colds to take care of. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. All right, we're good. Fatigue, fatigue. So three cold, two fatigue so far. Two cold. Three cold, two fatigue. Okay. You're good. Serious but good. That is good. What's your... Okay, you're a five. All right. You guys are doing better. I didn't find everybody, so... All right. What was it? Three cold, two... Don't you tick down. I saw that. I saw that tick down. Three cold, two fatigue... Should, mm, I was like, I should technically make more, but like I said, I don't like to make them ahead. Three cold. And fatigue. Okay, I'm gonna go find... Who was sick? You and you. You're on the other side. Ugh. Then the gangs, the epidemics, everyone's throwing the blame. You again. What do you want? I'm gonna heal you. Do you need medical help, sir? Yeah, I do. If you can throw in some drugs, I can find use for that too. Yeah, right. So you can sell them on the black market. Sorry. I'll only provide you with exactly what you need. 
Fair enough, Dr. Reed. That cost me nothing to ask. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Alright, let's go heal. Let's go heal this guy. Alright, where is he? Hmm. Oh, there you are. Can I talk to you? Do you sleep there? Good evening, Mr. Grader. Are you sure nobody followed you here, Dr. Reed? Oh, dude. Are you worth eating? I don't even know. Do you need help, Mr. Grader? Death by disease or by bullet? Do I really have to choose? Well, I have nothing to stop the bullets. But this should make you feel better. You have a strange sense of humor, Dr. Reed. Uh. Thanks anyway. Goodbye, Mr. Grader. Take care. The, the loners, I mean, they, I know they put them in the game specifically so that if you didn't want to, like, mess up. They, they're there because they're loners and because nobody will miss them. So they're tempting. He, his story specifically just doesn't... I mean, it's not like he has a purpose either way. But if I eat you... Um... This is the district we're in. If I eat you, it's already critical. If you drop into hostile, I'm screwed. But I don't think it's safe right now. Maybe later. Hey, I guess we're going back this way. I gotta go back to the hospital. Oh, that's right. I wanted to go back to the hospital. So that I could see those effects. So let's go do that. Okay. So who did we we ate? Okay. All right. Let's talk to some people. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm gonna go this way. Hey, you're up and about. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. It's a pleasure to see you again, Dr. Reed. Can I help you? It seems your surgery was a success. Yes, it was. I'm working here now, fixing what can be fixed. Paying off me debt the only way I know. Well, that's good. I'm glad the procedure was a success. I'm glad your procedure was a success, Mr. Fiddick. That's good news in these difficult times. Dr. Aykroyd may seem distant and cold, but he's good at his job, and that's all I needed. God bless him. Dedication does not always generate passion. Not only did he save my arm, he saved my life. There's many that wouldn't survive without this hospital. Yeah. Dr. Aykroyd can be a dick, but he seems to generally care about the patients and their health, whereas Strickland, unfortunately, uh is really the opposite. You should rest more. I think it's too soon for you to go back to work. You should rest a little more. Oh, I'm fine. And with this flu and all, no one else has the time to help repair the hospital. I'm glad I can help, Dr. Reed. And what about your family? My children visited this morning. I explained to them that Dad had to stay a little bit longer to repay the good doctors here. Don't they have to eat? Like, wasn't that... Your main concern? How are your children? It's been a long time since I saw them smile. With a mother dead, I'm their only family. They were worried sick with me here. You're happy to work here? So, you're happy to work here? It's the least I can do, really. I'm a good chippy, you know. And it's much safer than my previous job. Really? Is it safer to work in a hospital during an epidemic? The epidemic is not the only threat we face. My wife died during a German bombing raid. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. We had that conversation. You were tired. Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Yeah, you, we've had that conversation. Unfortunately, you are not the only... <sighs> okay, alright, I did have treatment for you. I was like, wait a minute. Oh. Will he tell me what actually happened to his arm now? Are you still blaming yourself for your injury? No. I know I took a chance and I got careless. 
But everything's good. I promise my boy will be all right. I don't think I saw your children in the Pembroke Hospital. They're still young, Dr. Reed. They never go out at night, and you're never here during the day. <laughs> so I guess he did hurt his arm on the job? I don't know. Are your children relieved? Tell me, Harvey. Are your children relieved now that you feel better? I believe so. There was so much joy in my daughter's eyes when she saw me move my arm again. I guess I never realized how worried she was about me. How our loved ones feel about us means a lot, doesn't it? Family's everything, Dr. Reed. They're the only reason we get up in the morning. Couldn't put up with this life without them. Mm. I'm glad you are better. There's nothing else to ask. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. So yeah, if, um, like I said, if you don't eat either Ackroyd or Strickland, he will never get his arm healed. And uh, if you eat Ackroyd, um, Strickland will screw it up and he'll lose his arm. I want this. I want this box, but I can't get there because you're in my way. I'll come back. Um, oh god. Mortimer? Ooh. Hold on. Okay, now I will come find you. Where did you... Good evening, Dr. Ackroyd. I have learned of the unfortunate fate of our colleague. So, you already know. We're collecting money for his family. To have a proper burial in the current climate is a challenge. Hmm. About Strickland's death? I am surprised about your reaction to Dr. Strickland's death, considering your disagreement with him. Strickland was young and idealistic. But he had a lifetime to become a great practitioner. He was just lacking insight, and we'll miss him. Too bad he can't hear you. My god, you have a heart! Ah, uh, I, I, no, I don't like any of these. It's a shame he can't hear you, don't you think? Remorse is a luxury we cannot allow ourselves. Once this epidemic is defeated, we'll take time to mourn fallen colleagues. Okay. Oh, did I not have this option before? Tip his opinion on your promotion. Didn't we ask? We asked this. Did we? What do you think of Dr. Tippett's opinion of your promotion, Waverly? I'll admit I feel uneasy obtaining a position due to my rival's death. It's not something that really sits well with me. Oh, so he did get promoted. Okay, we didn't ask him that. What's this? The death of Dr. Strickland also means the end of his research on the Spanish flu. It's a good thing, I suppose. Unlike others, I would never have reported him. You liked him. Admit it. I'll admit nothing. Strickland was taking too many risks at a critical time. That's not medicine. That's gambling. Gambling with people's lives. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. That was... That was a rather pleasant conversation. Where is Mortimer? Oh, there you are. Right in front of my face. Can I talk to you? You're just gonna stand there? Need a break? There's blood on the floor, so that's... This is not sanitary. Can I talk to you? What's Harvey up to? He's gonna go back to his bed, I think. Mortimer. Please? I would really like to talk to you. That's so strange. I can't see the heartbeats of people lying in bed. Okay. Um, can't... Will you move, please? Thank you! Where are you going? Good evening, Mr. Goswick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How are you feeling tonight? As selfish as it sounds. The death of my mother forced me to stop drowning in self-loathing. It's almost like she saved me after all. Whoa, bugs! Hello! Reed is talking, and he's not. Huh. She motivated him to get out of bed. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. 
I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. And you have my... Okay. Uh, why stay here? Why stay here, since you're feeling better? I must admit I feel comfortable around here, despite the epidemic and all the sick people. Actually, I feel like I could help finance this place. Really? Finance the hospital? Finance the hospital? That's quite generous of you. Let me be frank with you, Dr. Reed. I hope this cash injection will incite the hospital administration to forget about my situation. That's, you don't need to worry about that. Where are you from? I suspect you're not from the East End. Where are you from? I've always lived in my mother's house by Holland Park Avenue. I don't know if I'll go back there now. Not after everything. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's all we can- oh. Oh, 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 oh. What's your plan? What is your plan now your mother is gone? In fact, I truly don't know. Oh, I've been a terrible son. No, don't do that. But now I'm feeling more alone than ever. Don't do that either. And I don't know what is waiting for me next. It's the same for us all, Mortimer. I don't know if I'll ever have my mother's strength. But I can try. Well, he's already stronger for it. You really feel better? Do you really feel better since your mother died, Mortimer? Or are you just more adept at hiding your despair? I'm beyond despair, Doctor. But I know now I will not try to kill myself again. It's like the loss of my mother gave meaning to my pain. Wow. I'm curious about this one, but I'm afraid that if I pick it, like, that could almost be really mean and I don't know. Your mother loved you more than anything. I know she would have killed for you. I didn't realize you knew my mother so well. But then again, I'm a little at a loss in this hospital. I've read your letter. I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about a feeling of utter despair, of the world crumbling around you. Do you still feel these things? Yes. When I saw my dead mother, I realized why she feared so much to see me dead. Because she could not bear the pain. I get it now. What do you get? That mankind is as selfish as it is generous. As a species, we all are as beautiful as we are disgusting. Yeah, I would love to unpack that a little bit more, but... Okay, that's all the options we have. So, he's got some clarity of mind, I guess? Goodbye, Mr. Goswick. I don't know, someone needs to keep an eye on you, just make sure you're okay. He's fixing the window. The hospital's renovation needs at least a dozen carpenters. Working full time for a year. Or just someone to clean the floors, maybe? Not leave drugs? What is this? We're just throwing medicine bottles in a corner? I don't think Jadana has anything to say about the bodies piling up, but... I feel the need to talk to you. Can I talk to you? Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Yeah, I see you don't have anything going on. I don't think I need to trade for anything anymore. Ooh. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. <laughs> you have, a uh, You have good experience. Where did, um... He's feeling better dealing with that. Like, I don't know. Oh, I feel bad now. The whole reason I ate her was because I read online that if you do, he gets up out of his room and starts walking around and and starts feeling. It seems like he feels better. I thought this was going to be a positive thing. What are you reading? This doesn't seem like a positive thing. I don't know how I feel about this. Time has lost its effect on me. But the suffering continues. 
Good evening, sir. Doctor. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that decision. Alright. Let's move move onward. I still don't know if I want to eat one of you. It would be bad. It would be bad. I think. I think it would be bad. Alright. We want to head back toward the west end and try and find find the stuff that we need so that's what we're gonna do